Girl, you can learn a lot about a potential partner based on the profession that they have. And I know some of you are like, oh my God, I don't want to talk about work while we're dating. I get it, girl, but please understand that you want to talk about what someone does and why they do it. Now, I've been a dating coach for 14 years and I want to share with you the things that I've learned about professions and dating, right? And as your fairy godbrother, you know I'm always going to put you up on game and spill all the tea that I can for you. Okay, so ladies, if you are a teacher, a nurse, a flight attendant, uh, an HR, DEI, um, doctor, therapist, social worker, nonprofit, I want you to understand something. You are in a very nurturing career, which means that you are centering people all day, every day. And that's going to translate into your romantic relationships where you will put him number one and you will be a second class citizen in your own actual relationships. That's why if you're in these professions, sometimes it's com it can be a little bit hard. What I want you to do and your opportunities is, are actually to learn how to take up space and to center yourself in these relationships so that you can attract a man that is in his true masculine energy who wants to serve you because that's what true masculine energy wants to do. Now, for the guys that I want you to be cautious of, I don't want to say avoid because I think that's very strong, but be cautious of the guys that are in the following professions, police officers, firefighters, military, uh, surgeons and pilots, lawyers, and also pastors. Why? Because many of them have God complexes. When you have, quote unquote, other people's lives in your hands on a daily basis, or you believe that you do, you will think that you are holier than thou and that will translate back at home in a relationship and he will expect you to serve for you to serve him in the same way and when you treat him like a partner and not a god he will want to humble you he will want to treat you badly to remind you of your place so these are the kind of professions that i want you to be really cautious about the professions that i love that i like that have been quite successful are um, engineers, guys in tech, um, teachers, accountants, and blue collar workers. Now, these are the ones that work hard, that are in a service mindset, that are focused on you, and also focused on problem solving. Um, let me know your experiences with these professions, and if you need any help kind of navigating your dating life, definitely book a call with me. Hope this helps.